Next thing I would like to um, show you is um, how you can easily estimate what will be the loading from slab or the panels, slab panels to the inclined beam. Okay, now I have a pretty quick way to go about this. I mean, still, it depends on in the engineer's uh, discretion and preferences. However, you want to get your loading, it's all left for you. But I live in the fast lane anyway, so I, I always want to. I always want a shortcut in everything I do in my life, okay? But that is just by the way. Okay, um, what I need to do is, um, okay, take this beam 2F, right? Okay, first of all, I bring up beam 2F, view it in the sketchpad. Okay, now you can see the length of beam 2F, the span, the length of span 1 and span 2. Now, what I will do is this. I will form a rough rectangle, okay, using these two lengths so that I can use it to kind of estimate what the loading might be like, okay. But as I said before, it's left to the engineer's description. Um, it's not a fast rule, but for me, this is what I will pretty do. What is important for me is to get the loading, it might just be a rough, a rough um, loading. Okay, um, let's go back to the model. Um, I just change to view panel. Now, if you look at this, a rough rectangle, probably that will cover from here all the way to here. Um, I'll use the the width of the rectangle to be the length of the span. Okay, and then of course the other rectangle to be the length of this other span. So, um, looking at this rough rectangle I have here, um, this is almost um, 1,000 to 3.5 meters. Okay, so that means what I will do is this. Um, I will say I have a, I will use a, a rough rectangle of 2.5 width by 3.5 height. Okay, so. Okay, you can always do this in a, a separate term. Um, just open a new project and do this. So I can just um, take this. Um, this is 2.5. Just drop it anywhere. You can always change them. It is easy. So you don't waste time trying to um, figure out where it is. Okay. This is um, 3.5 and the width is 2.5 okay now the next I'll just copy to the right and then change the width to be the same as this this is 14 14 let's change the width 14 14 so that's it this is to my two rectangle Okay, I'll create bin span, create bin. Cool. Then um, I can load the structure. Let's select the bin, the bin span and look for the loading from slab. Okay, as you might have noticed, um, the loadings are organized under the sub heading loading. Um, I will look for bin span UDL. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll use. I'll look for um, its panel and collection. Okay, um, so that is it. Then I'll look for the load that comes from it. Okay, once you click on um, um, load structure, so I said area. Once you do that, then when you select the 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 span. And then go on downloading, then click on panel and collection. Actually, the panel and collection, co and then, you know, actually collect the loading that comes from panel. Okay. And then when you bring it up, then um, you can stretch it if you want. Um, what we are looking for is the GK and the QK. The GK is uh, 4.83 and the QK is this. So I'll just go back. Then um, select this loading, change distributed GK to this, and then 
can go back and get this is um and this is the QK. So that is it. <laughs> it's a rough estimate and but that we do. I mean it's 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 close to it, if not the same as the rating. But it's very close, a rough estimate. So wasting so much time trying to estimate how to get the loading. You know, you don't need to waste all that time. Just get a rough estimate and um, go your way. Okay. Um for this second loading which we don't even have I will do the same thing. First of all, I will um, sketch in my UDL. Okay. And then um, I will go back and pick the loading. Okay. Click on the second span. Go to panel and collection. And then um, I will select the GK, which is this. And then the QK is this okay then come back and enter the gk to be this and then the qk to be this so that's it this is my loading of course i said earlier you can actually um rechannel it um change the call out line um can put this at five okay eight five hundred eight five hundred cool so that that is it so <laughs> you basically have your loading fast direct easy okay but as i said it is left for your description and your preferences you might have a way of estimating the loading please get the loading Put the GK and the QK, and you know the software of course always give you the distributed load. It's very important. You put the GK and the QK, okay? But if you don't have the GK and the QK, you can just put the um, the distributed load and off you go. Okay. Then once you are done, you can say analyze and design beam. You can see the analysis is done, and of course you can also detail. Okay. The beam is detailed. So. That is the simple way you can easily estimate your loading. It's a, it's it's it's, um, it's it's kind of um, an easy approach to it. Okay, instead of wasting time to scratch your head on how you can estimate what th the load that comes to this beam, um, beam this beam span, you know, from slab, especially from slab. That's all the safe way. The software will always take care of it. You just use this um, little approach, and you're able to get your stuff done, and you are okay. Uh, the same thing applies to um, this uh, beam, okay? This one, you can also do the same thing. Okay, you can actually apply the same um, approach to get estimate the loading for this beam 13, okay? Um, so, what I can do also is to also form a rough rectangle, okay? First of all, I will um, take the beam 13 to sketch pad. I'll take beam 13 to sketch pad. Um, first of all, I will select beam 13. Just go to beam properties, right? And then select beam 13. And then I will say view beam 13 in sketch pad. Cool. You can see my beam 13. Okay. Now I can now estimate. I don't need this loading. Just delete it off. I can now estimate what the loading is likely to be using the same approach. Okay. Um, first of all, um, you can see the length. You can see the length. Um, the first length is 1,800. So I will still go the same way. Form rectangles in that order. I can use the same um, old project as we have. I can. This is um, um, this is um, this is 1803. This is 1803. Okay. Then um, I can form another one. This is one thousand five hundred. It's one thousand five hundred. Um, copy this. This is one thousand five hundred. Jesus. Okay, you can see I have formed the the panels. The beam, my beam of interest is actually this. Okay. Then um, I'll say load structure. 
so structure is the beam is loaded then I can just go to this pan and pick out under panel and collection I can pick out the loading you can see in this case I have two panel loading okay if I want I can add two of them together um, this one is uh, the GK is um, um, 3.49 and then this is 3.49 so um, that will give me roughly um, 7,000 7.0 okay or um, um, 6.98 okay I can make it 7.0 okay then simple go back and then um, I will now pick my beam okay I've already done that sorry I've already taken it to sketchpad um, go back to sketchpad then I will now add the um, draw the beam the the UDL okay so we can add our UDL um, D67 and then let me check the QK the QK is uh, the QK is 0 0.9 so multiply by 2 because there are just two of them okay that are all the same QK uh, which will give me 1 So this is one. So that's it. So I have eleven point four. Okay. Then this should be the same also. Seven and one. Okay. And then for this um smaller one, I'll just go back and check it out. Let's click OK. Click on this. Um This my GK is 2.9, so kind of 3 meters times 2 that will give me 6 because I'm adding it for the two loadings. Okay, you have two panel loading. Okay, so that's why I'm multiplying this by 2. Or oh, where they vary so much, of course, you can add the two together. Okay, um, because in the sketch pad, I don't need to um, do it one, do two of them. I can just use only one UDL and represent, represent all. Okay, I'll add another. Um, UDL okay um, this is 3 times 2 6 okay and then I'll go and get the GK the QK in this case the QK is 0 0.75 which is 1.5 which is 1.5 okay so here I have the loading if you want you can always re um, 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 shift it as we did before go to the call out line of course if the aesthetics of importance to you okay um, I can put it at 8 meters okay that's 8000 start X and start Y and X and the egg and the start X okay so that's it I have the loading and, and then I can analyze and design beam so that's it I have my moments and I can also detail so that is just the way you can you know easily get these loadings and then get the load on the on the beam and then pretty move on your way when it comes to an inclined beam for every other one you don't need to try to do for regular beams you don't need to do other because the software can easily you know load the structure automatically for you okay Thank you very much.